everyone so I'm doing this video talking all about me changing my Monroe piercing and the process of changing it how I changed it the size the size of the ball everything like that um, first I want to apologize for the quality of this video it is on my webcam my camera is again charging I've been getting so many requests from you guys that I keep using my camera and it dies all the time now because I'm constantly making videos so it is on the charger right now and I just wanted to make this quick video because I don't know when I'll have time to do this video because I have so many more planned so anyway so I got my Monroe pierced five weeks and two days five weeks and two days ago I got my Monroe pierced and I have a video all about that about the first week if you want to know more about that video I will put the link below so you guys can check it out um, I just talk about like the first week and how I clean it I also have a video on that which I will also link below but this one is going to be all about me changing it so typically people wait a month to change their piercing for the first time I didn't want to do that because you all know that piercings do take forever for me to heal so I did not change it on a month I wanted to wait five weeks just to give it an extra week to heal and on week five which was Saturday was five weeks and I felt totally comfortable with changing it because I felt like it was healed enough so I what I did first is I took all my makeup off and I washed my face just to get any makeup away from the region of where this is <laughs> and then what I did was <clears throat> took the, this jewelry and if you're wondering this jewelry right here it is a 5 16 length um, I believe it is a 14 14 gauge I want to say and then the ball is two millimeters so I'll just show you what it looks like yep so as you can see it is just a little green gem the reason why I got green is because my birthday is in August and that is my birth zone it is the green one so that's the reason for that anyway um, what was I saying oh and then I took the new jewelry this one took it out of the package and I cleaned it off really really good and then what I did is I washed my face with Provan um, it's a soap for piercings which I will probably make a separate video all about um, eventually talking about that soap but it's really really good I definitely recommend it but anyway I washed the area with the Provan soap and I was ready to go I made sure I took my nails off because there was no way I was going to be able to put a new piece of jewelry in my mouth that's like this big like there's no way so I had to cut off these which I just redid them so so I had to cut off my nails and then what I did is I was in the process of trying to take out the long bar and you know I've changed my nose piercing by myself I've changed my belly button piercing by myself I changed my tongue ring by myself I've had no issues doing that by myself however with the Monroe piercing I had a lot of trouble changing that by myself because I was in the bathroom and I remember I was sitting up on like I was up on the counter like so I was like right up against the mirror and I what I had done is I grabbed the back of the bar with my with my fingers and then I tried to t get enough grip on the ball and twist well looking into a mirror you're looking at a mirror image of yourself obviously so I thought I was twisting the right way when really I was twisting the wrong way the entire time so I was in there for about 15 minutes trying to untwist this ball when really I was just tightening it I wasn't even you know loosening it at all it was just a mess so then I looked online I was like why can't I get this stupid ball off and then it finally dawned on me after I read someone's like um, little answer about it they said you're looking into a mirror so you might be twisting it the wrong way so I was like oh I don't think I'm twisting it the wrong way there's no way so I went to the bathroom and I tried again and I twisted the right way this time 
And I was like, oh, and it came off right away. I was like, oh, I was twisting it the wrong way. So I felt really stupid, obviously. So if that's happened to you, don't worry, you're not the only one because it happened to me. So no worries there. So after I got it out, I I was really nervous because, you know, I there was a hole in my face and I was like, oh my, I gotta quickly put the new one in. It's gonna close up, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. That's just my mentality. That's how it works. <laughs> so that's what I did. Um, I just had this hole in my face and I kind of looked at it and I was like, that's really ugly. Like, I don't, the only thing about Monroe piercings, what I would really say is, if you're gonna get your Monroe pierce, make sure you want it forever because I will probably always leave this one in because I really, really like this one. But if you t don't have one in, it looks really ugly, like Janelle from Teen Mom 2. That hole in her face is just disgusting. So don't get your Monroe pierce if you don't want it for a long time. I think it looks really nice on me, so I'm gonna keep it for a long time. So, anyway. So then I grab the new jewelry, which is this one, and I twist off the little ball. And this ball is so tiny. Like, you don't even know how tiny it was. I could barely hold on. And I'm I'm four foot seven, okay? I'm super, super short. And I have little hands, little fingers. And it was even, like, microscopic in my fingers. So I was like, oh my god, this is going to be such a pain to put in. And it was. I could not get it in. It was so small, it kept, my saliva was getting everywhere, it kept slipping in my fingers, I kept dropping it, so I had to re-clean it because I'm a freak and I don't want to put something dirty in my mouth. If it fell, I had to re-clean it. And since I was fighting with it so much, it started to bleed and swell. So I was like, well, fuck. So the fifth time when I tried to put it in, I finally got it. And I, I mean, I was able to get it in all the other times, but it kept slipping right back out. So I didn't have enough time to put the ball on. Well, finally, on my like fifth attempt, I finally was able to get it in as there was blood and swelling everywhere. So that didn't help at all. But I got it in and then it took me about maybe two and a half to three minutes to actually twist the ball on, which was a pain in the ass because it was so tiny. And this one is um, externally threaded. So I actually had to put the because the ball has like the little end that I had to stick into the post. So I had to stick it in and then twist it and I had to make sure I was twisting it the right way to make sure it was tight. Because if not, this was the ball was just gonna fall off and I was gonna lose the post and then this would close up and then I'd have to go through all the process again and blah, blah, blah. So that was my story of changing it. After I changed it, it was really, really red. It was irritated, there was blood. And I know, I mean, it was, I mean, Monroe's take like two months to heal, but I'm mine was healed enough to the point where I could change it, but it's not fully healed yet. But I thought it was healed enough, and the reason why I kept, why it was bleeding and swelling and got irritated was probably because I kept putting it in, it fell out, putting it in again, fell out, putting it in again, and on, so on and so forth. So that's probably why it got all red, bloody, and swollen, but... I wasn't too worried about it. I was just like, oh, I'm going to keep an eye on it and make sure that my lip isn't swelling over the jewelry because this one is significantly shorter than the 7 sixteenths bar that they gave me, and now this is a 5 sixteenths. He recommended a 3 eighths, but that just seemed really long to me, and that's the last thing I want is something sticking out of my face, and this, the 5 sixteenths fits absolutely perfect. If you, and this was just a guess for me, so... Anyway, after I changed it, as I said, it was bleeding and swollen. So what I did is I was like, okay, no big deal. I got in the shower because I wanted to take a shower after I changed it. I washed it again with the Provon soap. And then afterwards, before bed, I took an ice cube and I just let it rest on my lip. And I did that for two nights. And the swelling, bleeding, and irritation completely stopped. It's not, you know, red or swollen anymore. It just feels totally natural. It looks better. The ball isn't huge and um, you know, I just think it looks really nice and classy, but if you're have if you're changing your Monroe piercing for the first time, um, you know uh, excuse me. Ugh. There might be trials and tribulations, but don't worry, it's you'll get it. If you don't, make sure you have a friend with you. Like, I have my sister in the bathroom with me to make sure if I couldn't get it, maybe she could get it for me. But make sure that um, you do have someone with you in case they maybe want to give it a try if you can't get it. Um, what else? What else? Oh, um, as far as what size to get you 
for your lip I cannot tell you that because everyone's top lip is different so I can't really say oh well you need this size or you need this size like for example and I'm not trying to be you know racist anything like that this is this isn't to be offensive but like African Americans have thicker lips so they might meet might need a longer size um, like me I'm really tiny I have really thin lips so I thought a 5 16th would work the best advice would probably be go to your piercer or maybe kind of look at the measurements of each one and kind of feel your lip and just give a guess because that's what I did and I got lucky with a good size so you know it's totally up to you how you want to approach it you can go to your piercer you can guess for yourself whatever you want to do is totally fine okay everyone so that was my video on me changing my Monroe for the first time and it's been five weeks and it's absolutely adorable I love my Monroe piercing a lot of girls can pull it off I mean I have a beauty mark down here and I don't think it looks too bad at all like the little I think it's kind of cute so you know if you want to get this piercing get it it looks really cute and you'll absolutely love it um, another thing is I know I said I was gonna record me changing it but after really realizing how tiny this was I didn't want to have to set up a camera get the lighting right anything like that I just wanted to change it and then make a video afterwards so this is what I'm doing I'm sorry but I thought I was gonna be able to just pop it right in but that wasn't the case so I'm sorry for not making a video of me changing it for the first time but yeah but I hope you guys enjoyed and if you have any questions about your fresh Monroe piercing don't be afraid to leave a comment below or message me I do respond to everybody if you're new to my channel welcome I hope you subscribe to me down below and if you want more Brian Barbie I do have a bunch of um, sites that you can follow me on like I have a Twitter Instagram a Facebook um, a place where you can go and ask me questions anonymously if you want to know anything about me or about you know your piercing or your life anything you can go to that site and I will answer it for you but until then I will see you all very soon with more videos bye